Hello everyone, my name's Henry and welcome to another episode of Adobe Add-ons Showcase. Now unfortunately it took a, bit, a little bit longer to make this video and I'm sorry about that for both the person who may have been waiting on this video and of course you guys who have probably been waiting anxiously for the next add-on showcase. Or maybe you haven't and you needed the pause. I don't know but I'm still sorry no matter what. Today we're going to be taking a look at another awesome extension for Photoshop. It's been a lot of Photoshop extensions around and the primary reason for that is because for one, Photoshop is a program I use the most because I'm a photographer, so I kind of live in Photoshop. More Lightroom, but then again Lightroom doesn't have that many plugins as I mentioned in the last episode when I featured Cloud, Cloud Tagger. Sorry about that, I had to add in a special uh, pause so I could cut that in. Um, cut that out, I mean. Um, so let's say last time I did Cloud Tagger, which um, that was a Lightroom extension, but I, I prefer Photoshop over Lightroom. No, Lightroom over Photoshop. I mean, but Photoshop gets more extensions than Illustrator, InDesign, and all of them. But trust me, I do try to find interesting InDesign and Illustrator extensions. I do have a couple Illustrator extensions down the line. InDesign, I hardly have any. So if you have any suggestions to any of those, just tell me in the comments and I'll look at them. Now today's extension is from Dr. Woohoo. If you haven't heard of him, then okay, you haven't heard of him. Uh, Dr. Woohoo, who makes uh, he, he's he's kind of cool. He's um he's been working with Adobe Software for a long time. He's been using Extend Script, which is one of the ways you make extensions for Photoshop. It's scripts. If you've used Photoshop, you should know what these are. Um, and he's basically used these to create these algorithms that make art in Photoshop. So this new extension called Color. Uh, lifter with an exclamation mark, which, which is like what everything would do. Doctor Who does has an excla exclamation mark. Basically, allows you to lift colors from an image. Uh, so this is an image that he's made himself. This image that here is sort of just that's always going to be loaded up when you load the extension, which is nice. You've automatically got a demo image to test it with, which um, uh, that's always nice for me, especially because then I have a sample that's guaranteed to work well. Um, basically. Imagine Adobe Capture, the app that allows you to capture different things, like the uh, or color.adobe.com, which allows you to capture colors from an image. Uh, this allows you to capture a lot more colors and, you know, get these really cool swatches in Photoshop. It also works in Illustrator, by the way. So if you have Illustrator, then you can run this in both Photoshop and Illustrator. Now, I'm featuring the Photoshop version primarily because I'm more used to Photoshop. So let's go ahead and just select here for example and then we pull that line all the way over to the red and as you can see we've built us a nice set of colors all the way from the as soon as we've added these segments on the line so that's step one is of course the important image Se step two is to draw a path on the image which you get these nice explanations for each of them so if these instructions aren't good enough for you the extension should be able to explain it pretty well itself and then you can just adjust the length so let's say we set it up to 19 and we get a little bit less colors. And then the lower you set it, the more colors you'll get. So you can get quite an amount of colors. Then we can sort, sort them after, um, after hue, saturation, brightness, or normal. As in the original order the colors are sampled in. So that's what it's now. And then we can set it to, say we set it to saturation, we get it in this order. Yeah, works pretty well. Now I'm gonna, just gonna keep it in normal because that's basically the order they were selected. I selected there first and then went to the red and I'm kind of happy with that. So then I can just press this save colors to swatch panel and boom, as you can see, the colors we made are now showing up in the swatch panel right there. Awesome. Now, just for the sake of making this video a little bit longer, I'm gonna go ahead and open an image I made, this flowers.jpg. I took this uh, last weekend. Pretty happy with this photo actually. Okay, that's a bit, hmm, interesting. Interesting how that works. Um, it's automatically selected a spot. I'm not sure I'm too happy with that. Um, oh God, no, go away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select from here and then down to there so we get sort of a, like here sort of, there we go. That's pretty good, so, so we got, we got a real mind. Let's go ahead and set that down a bit. It should be noted, you can actually also press this box. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down to 10. Jesus, the, the Photoshop is not liking this. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, it was not working like this. Okay, there we go, 10. I was just need, there we go. Okay, nine, apparently. That's that's fine. So you can see we've got this nice purple, and then we've decided to get a uh, separation with the green that comes up in the background. Pretty nice, and then we can sort it after hue, saturation, 
brightness, etc. So here I think kind of um, saturation does this justice because saturation of the purple is different the further down you go, sort of. So I guess the further up, whatever. You get the point. So okay, uh, that's not no. Um, I think that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and save on that, and now we've got them here. No, we get close color lifter, and then we can. You should obviously know how swatches work, but just as an example, let's go ahead and make a a box. We'll go ahead and choose one of these swatches. Grab the fill tool, rasterize it, whatever. Boom, we've got that swatch. That's how swatches work in case you didn't know that. Oh, okay, that works too. That's how swatches work in case you didn't know. If you didn't know, then I feel really sorry for you because swatches is one of the most important thing in any Adobe program that supports it, so yeah. In reality, that's really all I had to talk about in terms of color lifter, but uh, Dr. Wahoo's color lifter. It's a, uh, I need to think here. I believe it's a, how can I not check the price? I believe it's a $90 extension. You get a $80 or you get it for $80 if you buy it directly from Dr. Wahoo's website. And then you also get it for $70. If, you, uh, if you're a student, you can get a, 10% or not 10% but you can get $70 instead of $80 instead of $90 on his website other than that it's as far as I've seen it's on sale on the Adobe add-ons marketplace where most of my extensions that I've been featuring are and also on creative market so if you like creative market blah blah, blah. Uh, again stop I don't care um, so down in the description there'll be a couple of links if you buy a true creative market I'll actually be getting a little bit of the money Basically, if you register for Creative Market because you don't have one before and you use that link in the description, I will be receiving 10% of every purchase you do for the remaining year after you register that account, which means that'll be a lot of uh, extra support to me, which I'm very, very, very grateful for if you did. Uh, the add-ons link and the Dr. Who link is not sponsored, so I don't get anything from those, but of course, that's up to you whether or not you want to support me. I will not force you to do anything, I'm just mentioning it. So uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I mentioned at the start, if you have any InDesign, Illustrator, or just anything except Photoshop extensions, unless it's a really good Photoshop extension, feel free to tell me. And if you're developing an extension and you want me to showcase it, feel free to send me an email. My uh, email, my business email is listed on the channel itself on the info page. You may have to answer a capture or something to get access to it, but it is there. So if you're a creator, you want me to showcase your add-on, even if it, whatever, just contact me and we'll figure something out and I'll surely do it. I enjoy do making these and highlighting these as much as you do. Color Lifter, definitely recommended. Maybe the price might be a little bit steep for some. I personally find it's use worth it if you really want to capture vivid colors from an image. Uh, that's primarily what Dr. Who, who has made it for. He uses he l works a lot with colors, making like serious amounts of colors in an image is one of the things he does. So this extension makes perfect sense for him. And I'm rambling now, so I'm going to end the video before it goes too long. But then again, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff. Give me feedback. Tell me what to do better. I've tried to slow down my voice this episode. I'm not sure how well that worked out. But uh, yeah, that's about all I had to say. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.